in Beast, and we're going to see the Falco in Juice, and we're going to get this going right now. This is one of our best matches here in the winner's semifinals to get into top eight, and here we go right now. Now, these are two teams with synergy. They both, we talked about this before, we saw two teams that didn't have it, one team that had it, and now we're seeing a team, two teams that both have it, and this could change everything that we've seen so far. That's right, we'll, we'll see all this all goes down. It looks like uh, Red Team has, or had, excuse me, a lot of stage control there, racking up a lot of damage. So right now, we're seeing uh, uh, be, uh, Beast go up against Wawa Peach, and actually, they're switching back and forth, and this is my favorite part about this. They're not stuck to one character. They're not stuck to one particular opponent. They're constantly switching up depending on the situation. Wow, that up smash just kept... Again. As you can't even finish your sentence. He's not going to let you. He won't up let smash, you. up smash. <laughs> Ivysaur is the best Pokemon in Trainer's Arsenal. Absolutely. It's so diverse. And then even when you get to high percent, you got someone like Charizard who's just so dangerous and does so much kill power. And right now, the Wawa Peach trying with that side B to just find something here. RJ doing a decent job of getting the pressure off of Wawa Peach for the time being. Going through that platform, really nice job there from RJ. Oh, we're gonna get a follow up from that uh, neutral air there. Recovering Wawa Peach trying for the spike, but to no avail. There's the spike though. There it is. The classic forward air, big nose. That's actually good. Also going do it. Out. And Wow, they haven't lost a single stock yet. I just realized that, yeah. Yeah, the, the, it was a teammate spike, the last one. Really? Yeah. Oh. Did you not notice that? I did not. And hey, there's two, the first two hours of sleep, man. <laughs> Catches up to you. There's the first stock right there for Beast and Juice. Beast having so all three, and there goes Wawa Peach, and RJ is left to fend for himself right now. This is a very... Very poor situation for oh, RJ yeah. right now. They can take their sweet time, gra grab a cup of tea, just, you know, do whatever, take a bathroom break. They, it's, look at this, look at this. This is, that's something, they've actually done that multiple times. It's a jab lock between. <laughs> like, oh my yep, god. Yep, no. Yep, 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 yep. This I, is I, I, oh, oh, they just missed the oh, end of it. That was a match. They, they. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> they have done that before, <laughs> and it's disgusting to watch. It's so simple, too. Look at Beast. Beast is so proud of himself, too, and RJ just wants to kill someone. <laughs> RJ just, is so upset. This looks like they're having a good time, though. Well, at least one team is. Yeah. <laughs> RJ, please don't fire me. We love you, RJ. <laughs> but um, I'm telling you right now, RJ won't switch. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, RJ's one one true pride and joy is Yoshi. And he won't switch to any other character. Pokemon Trainer, Falco. So I'm not surprised that Beast and Juice are going back. Yoshi. But while Peach pulling out the Lucina, much better choice. I love Roy, and I'm usually a Roy myself. But this is something that I definitely like to see more in Doves. I think Lucina fares a lot better in this situation. That's right. We'll see how this uh, plays out here, going back to Pokemon Stadium. All right, and uh, looks like Red Team's getting a little bit of a string here. Yeah, we're seeing a better string coming out from Wawa Peach right here and RJ. But here comes that Ivysaur switch, and that could change a lot very quickly right now. RJ switching up and going after Beast currently. That neutral air of Ivysaur though is just such a good tool to get out of a really bad predicament. And here's what we haven't talked about with Falco yet. All it takes is one little move, one little up tilt, and you're probably taking about 50-60% damage. That's very true. He, he can link rather easily. He Especially goes, if a teammate isn't there to stop it. All of his moves just go together so well. Somehow, that's right. There's, man, both Wawa Peach and, uh, and Collision RJ losing a stock right now and now it's coming down like what do you what do RJ and Wawa Peach have to do in this situation now shoot um I don't know what 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 do you think the answer would be they gotta I, play, I wouldn't know they gotta play more being punished they, they easily have to play more being punished right now they're playing a very more aggressive game because they're down but they're no but you gotta notice how Beast and uh, Juice are not afraid to come at them 
They're not afraid to try and just take back that stage control as fast as possible. So if Collision RJ and Wawa Peach, and there goes the first stock actually against Beast, if they can play a little more being punished and try and get these better reads off right here, this could easily sweat. There's that backer coming out right there. Trying to, he was baiting another attack coming out from Juice, and it actually worked to his advantage, and that backer will take it. Like you said, though, the Falco strings seemingly just going together like bread and butter. They absolutely do. It's the Falco is super dangerous because of that exact reason. And right now, Wawa Peach is trying to land, but Juice says no, and that forward is going to take it. And Wawa Peach on his final stock now. The synergy of both Beast and Juice works so well, well together. Like, these two are a team all the time, and most doubles events in this area are usually between Beast and Juice and 6WX and Uno. Right. And it's, that's for a reason. These two are discussing. They're non-stop taking stage control, both going off stage, wow. both deciding to give up stage control, and they immediately get it back. Wow. You don't see that often. It's a simple, like, and now we see the Squirtle out again, and all it takes is one. Oh, they're, man. They're trying to go for it immediately. Oh, Part two. They're looking for it. Dude. Just for those down tilts. Yep. Yep. There, there, yep. Oh, oh space, getting out of it. Space a little bit incorrectly. Beast was too far away, just a tiny bit. <laughs> He's RJ, trying to stay in the air. He's RJ trying to knows. Say, nope. No, R this is a really good RJ knows what's coming because he experienced it last game. And so he knows he doesn't want to get caught in this at all. But he has to also find some way down at the same time to stop. But it's no avail, Man. and this is all it takes. Not quite getting the finish there, but they've racked up enough percent where just the right move could finish it. Good tech there. Neutral air coming out. Hoping that he's, uh, that Juice will recover high. Tries to get the up beat kill with Charizard. No punish though, because that teammate is right there to help. This is not a fun situation for RJ right now at all. And that's going to take it. And Beast and Juice move on, beating Wawa Peach and RJ 2-0. RJ, I, I was rooting for you the whole time. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. In those last situations, though, I mean, you, you got you got to face reality. Beast and Juice are disgusting, man. They do so they they do so well together, and especially when you get into that jab block combo, what do you do? 